Hello and welcome to the world of Odium. This is episode five and today I want to do a little bit of work back at the farm. Um, trying to put a cellar into the house and we're, and we're also going to add a storage area in that as well. Right now I am at our community um, area where we keep all of our goodies that we use for different builds here. Um, we've been doing a bit of grind um, for another project. I built this uh, simple vine farm over here because we didn't have one for some reason. There's a jungle over there so you could just as easily run and um, grab vines from there but I just thought well, let me go ahead and make one real quick and that way we can at least get vines without running out in the jungle. So let's run back through the nether back to the farmhouse And these are our service tunnels here. So it can take a while for me to get over there because it's way off in that direction over there. If you can see Salem, it's 502 blocks away from where I'm at. So let me get over there and I'll be right back with you. Okay, we're back here at the Endicott Farmhouse. Um, you can see I've been doing a little bit of work here. Um, I roughen it up on the outside making it look weathered. I put in some like stairs in here to make it look like there are planks missing We put in some spruce logs in here um, To try to give it a little bit of texture to the outside. This is just a temporary little Thing to get some cocoa beans that I needed for some brown uh, carpet uh, We added in some cracked bricks in here um, back here is where we're going to be putting our cellar entrance. I thought this might work for, you know, like the entrance to the cellar that you'd see in the back of a house. Um, and we're going to dig this out. It doesn't go anywhere right now. Um, and anyway, so we got a pile of wood here, you know, a cord of wood for them to use in the fireplaces and a stump for them to split the logs on. Over here, I'm beginning the uh, wheat farm it's going to stretch out a little bit further than this but I only have so many wheat seeds available to me at the moment but I kind of got this pattern here now originally my idea was I liked the um, farm build that Joe Hills did on um, Hermit Craft season four and my original idea was to use his pattern and then I came up with this one because that pattern works great but it works better on a very very large wheat field and this one's not gonna be that large I still have to have a little bit of room back here uh, to put in our barn and silo it's probably gonna go in this area here um, I've just got to come up with a design for that and then let's go back in the house and I have kind of finished furnishing it so I put in a table here and a couple of bench seats there. We put in a chopping block here, dab of blood there uh, from where she's, um, you know, cooks the food, uh, cuts up the meats and whatnot for it. Uh, cauldron there so that she can have water to put in her pots or to wash dishes with or whatever. Uh, just a, a chest there for that. Up here we just added in some chests. Uh, I gave the parents a table and some chairs to sit at. A couple of chests here and then upstairs here you can see we roughed up the ceiling as well. There's a couple of holes in the wall. Kids don't have it as good. Just gave them a couple of chests to put some of their stuff in as well. Let's go ahead and close that. And the floor down here, I just kind of, in a few spots, I put in some andesite to make it kind of look like, you know, this is areas that people have walked through and worn down the stone. I don't think this would look that good at putting in like gravel and cobblestone. I think it just would be too strong of a pattern for what we have here. Now, you notice I didn't put any artwork in there. And the reason for that is I think that 
this being a Puritan village, but the only thing that they would have for artwork would be religious artifacts, maybe a crucifix or something like that. And I really don't have a way of designing one that would fit in the house here that would look good. So I just kind of left out any artwork there. And I think I'm going to knock out these slabs here. Now I want this to come down. I'm going to go ahead and I don't have my axe on me, but let me knock this uh, trap door out. There we go. So our cellar is going to go, of course, under the house. I want it to go down about six blocks. So I'm just going to kind of build that this way, a staircase out a bit, just to make it easier to get in and out of the area. Do I have my shovel? No. Let me grab my tools and I'll be right back with you. Okay, I got my shovel out. Um, it's also, I also slept the night away. Just so that I um, wouldn't have to deal with that while we're working on this at the moment. One, two, three. And I'm pretty sure there's a cave system under here. You can already hear zombies. Four, five, and six. So we're going to be under the house at this point. And I want this to come up. I think it's got to be four. Yeah, four. Um, because I'm going to be putting in um, a secret area for us as well to um, handle the um, a storage for us to do building in this area. I know we kind of have one already over in Enderwood Hollow, but um, not Enderwood Hollow, over in the uh, actual Witch Village proper. But, you know, that's a little bit of a run for some people, and, and I was asked to make sure that there's space over here for us to have storage as well. So, I'm going to hollow this area out a bit, and I'll be right back with you. All right, I've got the area dug out to about what I'm looking for. And then over here, I'm actually going to dig out an area like this. I'm going to come back a little bit. And this is where we're going to put in a Jeb door. Um, it's probably not going to be right away that I'm going to do this. But I kind of want to get the area dug out. It's going to be a two by um, a two by two door that's going to be flush. It's going to be hidden, and we're going to have a switch over here somewhere um, that they could throw to get into this area. And we're going to have a big storage area back in this direction somewhere. Now I'm going to start with the walls. Uh, actually, let me do this first. I want to. Fill in this area here. Let me get. I've got some dirt here. I've got a little bit of coarse dirt that we're going to use for the floor. Um, but let me go ahead and at least tidy up this back area here a little bit. We're going to put our dirt in. We're going to come up to a flush of the house. So here. And then we will. Let me see, I got some cobblestone. I just want to fill this area in here. And then I've got some stone bricks that we're actually going to use for the walls. So let me go ahead and put those in here as well. Like that. And then we're going to get our stair, or not stairs, we're going to have ladders going up. Like 
that and then at the top I'm gonna go ahead and put in my wooden trap door there like that so that way you can open this climb out and there we go close our cellar entrance so we are good there all right so I want to make the walls are all going to be this um, stone brick and then we'll rough it up like we like we did with the walls upstairs uh, that fireplace is driving me nuts uh, so if we take out the blocks here and I could have left that corner in oh I haven't dug it out that's why <laughs> go ahead and move this torch over here here and I'm probably gonna need to a lot more than this but let me see how much of this I can do and I'll be right back with you okay I got the walls put in and I did have enough so let me start on the floor now I want the entire floor of this to be um, covered with coarse dirt um, I want to use coarse dirt because grass won't grow on it so let me dig this up I only have a little bit of coarse dirt so I probably don't have enough to do all of the floor but we'll put down what we've got I need to get some more gravel or I should have picked up some coarse dirt while I was over at the main storage unit but that's okay. Let me just get this floor out. Okay, I got the floor out. Let me go ahead and start. I'm going to at least put the coarse dirt around the outside. Hopefully, I have enough for that. Now, we shouldn't be near enough grass to get any of this to turn into grass we want to keep it as a dirt floor in here there's not going to be very much light uh, just what is coming in from torch light that we're going to have in here let me go ahead and put down some torches just so we don't have monsters spawning in here on us for the time being all right i'm going to have to um, go and get some more coarse dirt and get this floor finished up and then I'll be right back with you okay so I went and I got some gravel and some dirt 
and we're going to go ahead and craft up some coarse dirt real quick. Let me go ahead and do this. So it's just a simple like this. Two pieces of gravel, two pieces of dirt will make you four pieces of cor coarse dirt. And that's all we need here. So let's go ahead and get this put in place. And the nice thing again about coarse dirt is the grass will not grow on it. But the interesting thing too is that you can it's a great way of getting rid of everybody's favorite block gravel so you can make up coarse dirt from it using of course regular two dirt two pieces of gravel will give you four coarse dirt and then if you hoe the coarse dirt it becomes farmland so you can use that for farming if you take the farmland and you dig it up with a shovel it turns into regular dirt so it's a great way of getting rid of everybody's favorite block gravel so that's a little thing for you all right so I'm going to light up the center of this a little bit so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come out from the center one two three four five six seven did I make this an even number four five six I did didn't I, I thought I made it an odd number oh that's all right we're gonna come out about here we're gonna dig here I'm gonna put down a torch and I'm gonna cover that torch with a piece of brown carpet here Do another one in the center approximately let's see we come out three from the side here as well one two three same thing put down torch carpet on top of that and then about one about in the center so how many we have in the middle one two three four five six seven two three four okay so come over four place that down and this should light up this room enough for us anyways I think I'm going to call it quits here. We're going to, when we come back, we'll go ahead and put the ceiling in and we'll get this Jeb door installed. We'll rough up the walls a bit and maybe start digging out this area over here for a storage area that the rest of the Odium people can use. So until next time, this is Desert Rat. Have a good one. Goodbye.